Guys, welcome back to the College Cooking Show. On tonight's episode, I've got a very delicious chopped cheese sandwich. Let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. Okay, chopped cheese sandwich. Let's we'll start off with like what it is. It's a New York City staple. You mostly find it in Harlem, but you can find it in some places downtown. It's mostly drunk food. It's what you get at a bodega when you're walking out of a bar two, three in the morning, you just need something to fill you up, bang. People claim that it's like New York's answer to the Philly cheesesteak. It's not, it's its own sandwich. It has lettuce, it has tomato. Let's actually go through what you're gonna need. Good segue. We're gonna need with ground beef. You can use a preformed burger patty. We're gonna smash that up. Uh, or just plain old ground beef, 80-20. And then some American cheese, some lettuce, which we're gonna shred up, an onion. And I have some mayonnaise, that's gonna be our binder. Oh, and then a tomato as well. The roll is very important. You need a hoagie roll or a tor torpedo roll. I just went to the deli and got one of these for 75 cents. You can find them at grocery stores. Just go to like the fresh bakery section. You should be able to find this. First things first, let's slice this bad boy up. Go on the medium high heat and we'll go in with a swig of oil. Where's my fucking oil? Here we go. It's not a big kitchen. Should be able to find things pretty fast. A little glug of olive oil and then some butter. We're gonna use about a tablespoon of butter and then just break up those onions into rings. And now let's just throw a good pinch of salt on those onions just to get everything nice and seasoned up in there. But we'll let this start to sizzle away. Um, while the onions are going, let's just slice up our tomato and our lettuce. Now, I'm gonna, I want this lettuce shredded on this. What you're gonna do is just take that all and roll it up into a little ball like so. Grab your knife and then just do little slices like this and you're gonna be left with some shredded lettuce. I like nice and thin tomatoes on any kind of sandwich. Never, I never like to get a big chunk of tomato, unless it's like a BLT where the tomato should be the focus. In this sandwich, it's not. It's just a little accent piece. Now I'm just gonna cover the onions for a bit just to help them kind of sweat and, and cook down a little faster. This is basically like a quick caramelization. Normally I would, if you're really trying to caramelize eggs properly, I have another video on it. I can link it somewhere. But you really wanna go low and slow with a lot of butter and then a little bit of a, uh, red wine vinegar at the end and get a really nice sticky caramelized onion. So we're doing like a half cheating version of that. Look at that, and you can already tell the onions have started to shrink up immensely. They're changing color, so now we're ready to add in our beef. I'm gonna salt just this side of the beef quick, and then we're gonna throw the beef right in, turn the heat back up. All right, so I'm just flattening it down like this to begin with. We're gonna chop it all up, but I wanna get a nice sear on that layer right now, get a nice crust so we have a lot of texture in the sandwich when we go to chop it all up. So we're gonna let that go a few minutes, maybe two minutes, and then we'll start chopping, we'll start mashing. I'm gonna wash my hands. So I'm just gonna turn my oven on to 200 degrees. Bread can go right into that oven. As it heats up, it's gonna warm our bread. I'm gonna hit this side of the beef with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. All right, so now we're starting to get some crispy action. We get a little gnarly bits going on the sides. So I'm gonna go in now and just start chopping that beef up. Look at that. Nice texture, that's what we're looking for. That's why we kind of seared that first side. And now we'll just let this beef cook all the way through. Bun is nice and warm. We'll take it out of the oven, turn it off. Load that bread up, give it some mayonnaise on both sides. Beautiful, just like so. And if you want to add some hot sauce, fucking add some hot sauce, some mustard, yeah, fucking make it your own, who cares? And I'm gonna go on top now just with our cheese. One, two, fuck, you know what? We probably use a third slice of cheese. That's gonna fuck the camera up. You know what, fuck it, I'm getting more cheese. I think that's where the camera was, I don't know. It looks good to me. One more thing of cheese. Now look, if you want, you wanna do a little chopping, chop that cheese right in there. Do one final little mix up. All right, that's looking good, that's looking gorgeous. Turn the heat off, grab your roll. And just load it up, just go in. Oh fuck. Yup, this is late night eats. This is just a fucking, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. A little bit of lettuce goes on top. And then tomatoes. Oh man, this thing is getting heavy. This thing is getting loaded. So I think three is gonna do it for me. Bang, you know, and you know what? To really get this authentic, we're gonna have to wrap it. We need some tin foil. We gotta go tin foil wrap. Do I have tin foil? Yep, yes I do. Now, do I have space to do this? That is a question I don't have the answer to. What am I gonna do? Think on your feet here. We're gonna move this over here. We're gonna take my other cutting board from over here. Okay, we're falling apart. Sheet of tin foil. Here we go. Here's the wrap. The fold. Now in, and we go tight. We go tight wrap. Nice and tight. We'll slice into it on a bias. Oh, fuck yeah. Nailed it. Look at that. All right, let's go in for a bite. Oh my god. That is so fucking good. Hold on. Hold on. Mmm. Please. Give me a second. Holy shit. 
Guys, that's unbelievable. That takes me right back. I'm fucking stumbling around. I'm getting my cheese sandwich to go, and I'm just eating it whole. It's sloppy. It's going everywhere, but it fills you up. It sobers you up a bit. Gets you right to bed. Make this if you're not hammered. Make this as a good snack. It's just a good fucking sandwich to eat. Guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the College Cooking Show. I'm Chef Donnie. I'll see you next time. Peace.